Hello and a very warm welcome to COVID-19 Bulletin, your weekly update on COVID-19 research and management. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor with you. Fear of needles often keeps many people away from COVID vaccines. No need to worry about it anymore. India's first intranasal COVID-19 vaccine candidate, BBV154, which is being developed by Bharat Biotech along with Washington University in St. Louis, has received approval from the drug regulator for conducting phase 2 human clinical trials. BBV154 is an intranasal replication deficient chimpanzee adenovirus SARS-CoV-2 vectored vaccine. Bharat Biotech recently completed phase 1 clinical trials of this vaccine on healthy volunteers in the 18 to 60 years age group. According to the Ministry of Science and Technology, the doses administered to volunteers in the phase 1 trial were well tolerated. No serious adverse events were reported. Previously, the vaccine was found to be safe, immunogenic and well tolerated in the preclinical toxicity studies. The vaccine was able to elicit a high level of neutralizing antibodies in animal studies. The ministry said the regulatory approval has been granted for conducting a phase 2 randomized multicentric clinical trial of the heterologous prime boost combination of SARS-CoV-2 vaccines to evaluate the immunogenicity and safety of BBV152 with BBV154 in healthy volunteers. The development of the intranasal vaccine has been supported by the Department of Biotechnology and Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council or BIRAC. Moving on in the bulletin now. Hyderabad-based Indian Immunologicals Limited has received a loan license from drug regulator Central Drug Standard Control Organization for supplying to Bharat Biotech co-vaccine drug substance produced at its repurposed facility. The DBT and the Biotechnology Industry Research Council or BIRAC under mission COVID Suraksha launched a project to augment the production capacity of Covaxin, the anti-coronavirus vaccine developed by Bharat Biotech. According to DBT, Indian Immunologicals Limited Hyderabad is the first site under this project to receive from Central Drug Standard Control Organization a loan license for supplying co-vaccine drug substance produced at its repurposed facility to Bharat Biotech. IIL is one of the three public sector undertakings to have been tasked with manufacturing co-vaccine doses. It supplied the first lot of commercial co-vaccine drug substance to Bharat Biotech last week. Initially, the IIL will produce 2 to 3 million doses per month, followed by another 4 to 5 million doses from its new facility at Karkapatla over the next few weeks. Dr. Renu Swaroop, uh, Secretary DBT and BIRAC chairperson said that the government has worked relentlessly to provide all possible support for ramping up co-vaccine production in the country and speed up the co-vaccine inoculation drive. Happy news for students. COVID vaccines for children may soon be available in India. According to Priya Abraham, director of the National Institute of Virology, vaccines may be available by September. The clinical trials for inoculating those between 2 to 18 years are underway. Once the results are available, they shall be presented to regulators. In an interview with India Science and OTT platform of the Department of Science and Technology, Ms. Priya Abraham said, probably by September or just after September, we may have a co-vaccine vaccination for children. Currently, only those who are 18 or above are eligible for a vaccination against coronavirus. Once vaccines for children get approval, it will speed up our fight against corona. And that is all for now. You can share your feedback and suggestions to us on the email ID flashing on your screens. And for more such videos, download India Science app or visit our website www.indiascience.in. And don't forget to follow us on social media as well. We'll be back with another edition of COVID-19 Bulletin soon. Get vaccinated and stay safe. Namaskar.